Hi, my name is Paul Corrigan. I'm with the Peak Performance Consulting Group, and I'd like to thank you for joining in our Workplace Banking webinar today. We're going to review the Workplace Banking business model, what makes it effective, what the benefits are to customers, the bank, and to branch teams. We'll dig into the sales process and discuss how the execution is critical to a successful program. During our webinar today, we're going to review the workplace banking business model, what makes it effective, what the benefits are to customers, to the bank, and to branch teams. We'll also dig into the sales process and discuss how execution is critical to a successful program. I'd like to kick off today's webinar with an overview of why workplace banking is the right model at the right time. The program is designed to expand the reach of a bank's distribution network by creating a proactive sales strategy that efficiently acquires new customers and cross-sells to existing customers through their workplace. The program addresses strategic challenge. Banks need revenue growth, but customers are shifting away from branches, which have been the traditional source of acquisition and cross-sell. Bottom line, workplace banking puts branch teams in front of prospects and customers they no longer see, and it provides a group sales opportunity with a captive audience. The Workplace Banking Program opportunity is threefold. First, become a part of the company's benefits package to build an annuity stream. As companies hire new employees, the bank gets an opportunity to acquire new customers. Two, create a standard set of tools and best practices for branch teams to use for new customer acquisition and cross-sell. And finally, three, deliver an integrated consumer commercial one bank approach for clients. The primary objective of workplace banking is to develop a sales channel for new customer acquisition. The strategy is basically a group sales model. Go where people congregate, at the work site, where there's a commonality, the people all work for the same company, and where there is an endorsement from the employer that this is something special, that the program is a benefit. A key pillar to the success of the workplace banking model is having a strong value proposition one that is relevant and tangible to both the needs of the company and its employees. First, we need to appeal to the company decision maker, who will provide regular ongoing access to employees if there's a strong enough reason to do so. Fact is, employers know their employees are struggling with personal financial matters. Financial education and financial planning will give employees a better understanding of personal finance and get them on track for the future. Important also that the product offer not be one size fits all. Employee needs vary based on age, income, and future needs. So having a segmentation strategy with offers for all employees, associates, mid-level managers, and executives will help put branch teams in front of multiple prospects. Another important component of the value proposition is providing a dedicated banker or dedicated team of bankers for the firm's employees. A team that understands the company's operations, its employee distribution, and whether the company is adding or reducing staff. Next, the business opportunity for the bank to become part of the company's benefits package to create an annuity stream of new customers requires that the workplace banking program have structure. Ad hoc programs will not deliver a consistent customer experience, nor will they deliver bottom line business results the bank needs. That structure needs to include dedicated resources to cross-sell the commercial base and train the branches. It also needs a defined sales process, clarity around who does what and when. And finally, define targeting strategy against the commercial base and branch target opportunities. Next, successful workplace banking programs require accurate and reliable metrics in order to track acquisitions and measure sales effectiveness. Results tracking needs to be built around both company and industry so that profitability can be measured at a portfolio level. We should try to track all products sold for full picture of the sales channel. And also measure sales effectiveness with activity tracking and performance ranking. Now let's take a look at the benefits of the workplace banking model. 
For companies, it's a no-cost program to enhance their employee benefits package. Also lower payroll costs with increased direct deposit participation. The program will result in increased employee productivity with reduced financial stress and also reinforce the employee-employer relationship. For employees, it makes banking more convenient with improved service, a dedicated banking team that works with employees. Employees will learn how to better manage their personal finances with financial education and planning tools, resulting in increased morale. For the bank, the program is a proactive sales model to drive incremental revenue, an integrated commercial consumer bank solution for clients, resulting in increased branch productivity. And for bankers, workplace banking can increase new account production and help them achieve their compensation goals. It will help them transition from a transactor to an advisor and enhance their job knowledge and skill development. Here's a look at how the sales process works. Starting with identifying company targets. Who are those commercial and branch targeted opportunities that fit the strategy? Next, prioritizing those targets based on industry and number of employees. Next, making that outbound call, identifying the company decision maker and getting the appointment. Then conducting the client meeting, ideally a joint call with a commercial RM. Close the deal and then put together an execution plan. One idea is to survey employee needs with a list of the financial education workshops available. Finally, implement on-site, um, executing the financial education workshops and explaining the program to the employees. Finally, the implementation roadmap with a review of the four key pillars that make for a successful workplace banking program. Starting with target strategy. Very important to secure commercial and retail bank leadership buy-in for the program. Starting with a cross-business partnership. The ability to leverage existing relationships to introduce workplace banking as a value add. And also around the branch targeting process, making sure branch teams are in alignment with the targeting strategy and then fail-safing the target strategy with a centralized company registration process. Value proposition. Developing a relevant and tangible offering to obtain company decision maker support for the program. Leveraging financial education and planning. Also unique workplace channel pricing. And then finally having a dedicated on-site banking team makes for a very, very strong value proposition. Three, sales resources. Determining program scope and volume objectives the number of salespeople that will be needed to cover the branches, and establishing sales objectives for the program. Finally, program metrics. Determining performance measurements for channel sales, the product sold by company, by branch, by sales representative, sales team activities, the referral pipeline and on-site events, and results tracking. You know, what are the options there? In summary, Workplace banking represents a huge market opportunity. All of the companies and their employees within the branch footprint. It leverages commercial relationships. The program is a natural extension of the bank's current commercial product offerings. It helps grow core retail business, creates a new channel to attract new customers and to improve cross-sell of existing customers. The program counteracts the trend of declining branch traffic, changes the paradigm of current retail bank acquisition strategy, Workplace banking reaches out to customers at their place of work. The program creates a new, more efficient sales channel, an efficient method of capturing new customers and cross-selling existing customers without building more branches. The program is tested and proven. Success abounds in the U.S. and around the world. Finally, provides value through financial education, financial planning, a dedicated banker, and on-site convenience as key components. I hope you'll agree that the time is definitely right for a renewed attention to workplace banking. We hope you enjoyed today's webinar. Thanks very much for participating. Take care.